Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 87 of my RPG Maker series. Today, I'm going to continue working on Naho, shoring up the storyline and the events of how it plays out. So, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, as you may remember, I had the players retrieve the storage room key and have a little cutscene with three of the important leaders in the military that they're opposed to before going back downstairs and talking to the statue. The statue is supposed to tell the player, nah, get away, get away. The uh, supposed to tell the player where the shrine is for the area, remove the barrier, and then send them on their way. Once the player gets there, they're supposed to go through a little a little challenge, not really it's just more of a joke because it's challenge it's informing the players of history of the world, uh information that the characters already know before they get their abilities, their new classes. Um once that's done though, once that's finished, once they've got their classes, they need to go back to they need to go back to Naho because the pyramid still has a barrier over it. If they go back to Naho before they go to the pyramid, I need a series of events laid out for them. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. There's, uh, I think I'm going to have two separate events layered here. The first group of events is when they first enter town. The first time, it's, they realize that they need disguises. I was going to have them thrown into a jail cell every time they had to fight one of the soldiers. But that doesn't really make sense to me. That every time they get caught, they get thrown into jail and then they have to bust out. I think instead what's going to happen is they'll just get kicked out of town. I, I think that's just what will happen. So... I need to remake. Well, I don't think I need to remake anything. I can just have I can just have the soldiers kick them out of town if there's a fight. Uh battle processing if they win, we should leave now. Right. If they lose, they also get kicked out of town. And then if they have the disguise, the guys do nothing. Wait, did I actually set that up? Yeah, yeah. If they uh if the actors are disguised then this happens. Right. Okay. Apply self switch A, buzz off right after the first time you talk to him. If you're disguised, buzz off. Right. Okay. And then after the pyramid boss fight, they just disappear from town. I'm not going to have all of them disappear from town, but most of the military presence will dry up here. But I still need I still need an event for after they've gone to the knowledge shrine but before they've defeated the pyramid in order to get the pyramid shield down. So what I think I'm going to do here is, I think I have a switch. So after they complete the thing, they'll come back to town. And while still in disguise, or they'll put their disguises back on. Yeah, I think they'll put their disguises back on. Let's do, 
Let's do Solomon. Uh, I don't, he doesn't really have a worried expression on his face. Maybe this one. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, just something simple like this. Yeah. I'll, I'll fix it later. Uh, so, I'll have them go back into their disguises. I don't remember how I did that the first time. I think all I did was go into change actor. All right. Simple. Simple thing to do. Actually, you know what? I, I, I forgot. I have to copy this. Copy event page. And put it on both sides. Because it doesn't matter which side they enter from. Uh, paste event page. There we go. Uh, these two both do the same thing. All right. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, actually, you know what? I always forget this. I need to make a separate... I need to make a separate uh, page that just deletes all the thing. Uh, the, the event. Otherwise, they just wind up looping back through the same event over and over and over, and, uh, I need an off switch. So, there we go. All right, cool. So they come back to town. They gotta talk to the angel again. They should have, still have the key. Unfortunately, I think I set this up as a consume on the key, right? Uh, I gotta go back into, whoop. Got to go back into items, key items, consume, yes, no. There we go. All right. So he'll come back. It shouldn't be as hard this time to go up to the statue and talk to her. So. I need. There we go. There we go. I forgot. I got to add the little sparkle that says the cheese there. And this one, same thing. And then they have to ask her to, for help. Right. I need the switch that they've gone through the knowledge shrine. Okay. Good. Let's see. Who's going to ask for help? Probably Elizabeth. Yeah, because she's the lead. So what'll she say? Uh, we need... Well, let's, let's hammer out what we're trying to say before we go into the details. Angel of Knowledge, we've returned from the shrine. But we have another problem. The Pyramid where our foe resides is blocked off from us by an energy field. Do you have the power to release it or lower it or get us through? Yeah, so we just need to hammer out the details for that. All right, I think that's a good first attempt, maybe a little over dramatic and maybe a little too archaic of a way to speak but it is Elizabeth. I mean, she's the first queen. She's going to be a little overwrought, a little overdramatic. Uh, it's still good for a first pass. So what will the angels say? That's the thing. Um, let's see here. We're using the blue. Yeah, blue. Um, so what will the angels say? I don't want her to have the power to just drop the energy field. I feel like I can tie something else into this area that will let the players... will get rid of the energy field, let the players get to the boss, but can also forward the larger narrative. I could try to tie in the orc camp in some way. Make it important. Maybe there is a powerful spellcaster in the orc camp that the players need to face and defeat. Maybe there's an object that the orcs have, and that's why they've been captured. 
the players can find it, destroy it, or maybe just get it out of the military's hands. If I introduce an object that can do that, though, am I opening up? Am I opening up questions of are there other objects like that? Are there are there other powers that can do that in the world? I think. You know, I think I'm okay with that. I think having an object that the orcs have that the military took from them and used to create the energy field is okay. Maybe there's still a powerful wizard involved, just so I can get an extra boss fight or mini boss fight in there. But he's using the object. So what will the angel say then? To the southwest, there lies a a thing. What would I call it? Not an object. She'd be more specific. A cistern? Uh, a censure? An orb? I don't want to go with the orb. Orbs are so... Orbs are so overused. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. But she'll she'll direct him in that direction, I think. You have to break it to lower the energy field. You have to stop the military from corrupting it. Maybe just turn it off. If I if I keep the player using it or or if I keep it from being broken, if I don't force the player to destroy it. I can use it later. Uh, I bring it up because I'm thinking. Let me actually back out of this while I'm while I'm brainstorming. Let's go back to the world map. Let's let's jump ahead a little bit. Uh, I need to back out, back out, back out, back out. So you know that once we get through the shrine, uh, Skill Shrine City. Once we get through Skill Shrine City, the player's going to pop out over here and wander off in this direction. I want there to be a town or village or what have you that is opposed to the military that's trying to dominate the world. I want there to be another safe harbor for the players to get over here to Ulta Island. I'm going to have the island be dominated by vampires after the events of the prologue that you are all here for. I'm sure you remember. The Faith Shrine is going to be in here. Once the player gets through with it, though, I need a plan for the rest of the game. Because they have to come over here and get into the main bad guy's fortress and defeat him. If you recall, I wanted like a cloud highway, kind of. Uh, a, a separate dungeon in the sky that the player had to walk, fight their way through over to this mountain range into this region. And I'm thinking, instead of this pool of water here, I could have like a sacred mountain kind of situation with a village on top of it. There could be a energy field around that village that keeps the military presence out. So the object that's creating the energy field down here at the pyramid could be used to get through the energy barrier at uh, the sacred mountain. We'll just shorthand call it the Sacred Mountain. That's certainly an option. Or, maybe there's no energy field. Maybe there's maybe they need help. And the player characters come along with this object that can create an impenetrable energy field. And they're like, hey, help us. 
And you can use this to repel the invaders. One of those two works, but if there's no energy field, how did they stay out of military control for so long? I think rather instead it should be used to get through the barrier. In which case, in which case instead of a object in the orc camp that is generating the barrier for the pyramid, Maybe there's an object that will get them through the barrier. All right, all right. I like that better. I like that better. That makes more sense. It's more logical than the other way. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So the angel needs to tell them, hey, these orcs have this thing. Hey, the orcs have this thing that you will need to get through this barrier. Uh, if you recall, I offhandedly mentioned that I wanted the angels to be more like a valley girl, ditzy, uh, high school, teenager type of personality. I don't know how well that's coming through in the dialogue I've written already, but... That's the goal. So they're less they're less concerned about formality than the uh, than the royalty are. Not the best that I've ever written, but it gets the point across. And as I always say, it's just the first draft. I think I'll have another, somebody else in the party react to that. Let's do Joan. She likes to wear her heart, her heart on a sleeve. Okay. Okay. And then... Let's say Solomon. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's back that up. Let's back that up. Gilgamesh would be like... Uh, that's not important. What about our enemy in possession of the thing we need? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't have enough dialogue of everybody in the party referencing, at the very least referencing, their relationship to one another. Like, I don't have Joan calling Elizabeth mom often enough, and I don't have Solomon calling Gilgamesh dad often enough. So... Having Joan say something and then Gilgamesh say, hardly the point, my love, feels, feels like a good character moment. All right, so our enemy possesses something we need. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I think this is the first time in a while I'm actually okay with the dialogue in this box. Our enemies possess some... Our enemies possess something we need in order to continue the mission. I, I was thinking about saying our mission, but the mission. I, I feel like Gilgamesh is one of those guys who would talk like that. Anyways, are they aware if it's important to us? And then we'll have Solomon chime in with... Oh, edit, edit, edit. Uh... Are they aware of the importance of the object they have to us? Solomon would say, probably would say uh, something. I mean, he would say what I already have written, but then, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's say also, what is the thing they have? Uh, what is this? What is this thing they have that we need? Oops. Could you... Could you describe it in better detail or in more detail? More, I think. Could you describe it in more detail? Please. Because he's nothing if not polite. 
Sure. All right. Good. Great. We'll have we'll have the angel describe it as soon as I figure out what it is I want. Let me go into the items and see key items here. Um, oh, look at that. I have a space for it. So what do I got? We got orbs. We got orbs that I think I'm going to be using for other things. I've at least started trying to seed them across the map, across the globe, across the game. A drum? A horn. You know, a horn just kind of has a certain legendary feel to it for bringing down a wall, you know? And we're all, we are talking about a tribe of orcs. They would use a magical, powerful artifact like a horn. Well, all right. Yeah, yeah, I could see that being a thing. It's not like I have to model the actual horn. It's also not like I have an animation of the characters blowing a horn that I could use. That's kind of disappointing. I would love to be able to have a cutscene of them walking up to this energy barrier, blowing a horn, and then just removing it from the game. But we make do with what we got. Yeah, you know what? I'll use a horn. Sure. Um, we'll just call it the orc. Well, that's kind of lame, isn't it? The mythic. How about that? Mythic orc horn. Sure. Apply. Good. Okay. So now I can go back in and have her describe what it is that the players are trying to find. Go back to angels. There we go. I think that works. I think that works. I can I can ditz it up a little bit more, but uh, I think that works. All right. All right. We're good here. I mean, there'll be more to the conversation. And you know what? Eh, just so I don't forget, let's actually have Elizabeth say something. Uh, filler? No. If I write filler and I forget to come back, well, I am going to be playtesting it. All right. So... I'll just write filler there, just so I have a save bot. All right. All right. Let's go back to the... Go back to the orc camp. All right. So how am I going to get the horn into the player's hands? If I, if I give the horn to the villains, then it's a question of why is it not in quarantine with the statue back in Naho? Could it be that uh, they just recently took over, took control of the orc? But then it's a timing issue, right? How long have they had the orcs under their control? If I give the horn, if I keep the horn in the orcs' hands, how did they avoid having the military occupation, take it from them. I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is have the old standard, if you take it from them by force, it loses its magic type of Sheboygan uh, type of thing. Uh, which means when the player comes into the camp, they need to talk to the orcs. And I can give them all different dialogue, but they need to talk to whoever's in charge. The chieftain or the orc tribe will say, uh, I need to make one that looks different from the others. Well, I, I mean, I guess I should. I don't have to. The problem, of course, is that I don't have... Let's see here. I only have one face. Uh, monsters? I only have one face for the orcs, and I can't replicate that with the character builder. The best I could do is this, and that's not gonna work. It, it doesn't matter who I make the chieftain. The thing I want to get across to the player is that they have to talk to the orcs in order to get the horn from them. The orcs will say that 
they need to be freed. The player can come over here and fight their way into the tent, defeat the general, and then once the once the camp is freed, they can talk to the chieftain. You know what? I think I'm just going to... Well, I don't think I need him. Well, you know what? I'll keep him. I'll keep him. Um, how is that going to work, though? If they walk in here and they defeat the tent and they walk out, it's not automatically going to be freed. There needs to be... All right. There needs to be a process of plot here. They come to the camp. They talk to the orcs. I suppose I could just skip the... Yeah, I could just skip the middleman, have them fight the big guy here, get the horn from him. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Why did they keep the horn here? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with if you take the horn from them by force, it loses its enchantment. So once you once you kick the humans out and the orcs are freed again, then the player characters will ask the chieftain if they can have the horn because they need it to continue their mission. Yeah. All right. All right. That's that's how it will play out. Which means I need to change some dialogue here. Uh, we'll have Elizabeth ask for it. Uh, your leadership, your grace, your honor. Uh, oh, you know what? She'll just call him Elder. Sure. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Elder, we regret our actions were not purely altruistic. We have need of an artifact your people possess. Uh, I'll have him say, well, there's really only one thing that they possess that any humans could want. Uh, I think that'll work. I want to I want to get across that he's angry, maybe disappointed that the people who came to help them that wound up helping them uh, want the same thing as the people who were enslaving them. But I think I could reword that better. Yeah, I'll do that on a second pass. Let's uh, let's bring up Solomon. Uh, yeah, ever the voice of reason and wisdom. Solomon will bring that up, and then I'll have the orc chieftain say what? Uh, well, after a back and forth, I don't want to drag it out. I don't want to drag the... I don't want to belabor the point because the player needs to get the horn in order to get to the pyramid, but I do want to make it clear that he's not happy about it. But after a little back and forth, he'll say, I want to put emphasis on the fact that they're loaning it to the player, not giving it to him. But uh, that'll work. Sure. All right. Good. I, I think that's a good line of effect. And then we have, let's go back to the world map and go back to the barrier. All right. And... A uh, new event, and as long as they have the horn, it should disappear. Hmm, well, hold on, hold on. I think... Is there a sound effect for blowing a horn? Let's see, sound effect. We'll bring that down to, come on, 20. 20. All right. Is there a horn sound effect? Down to H. Well, where was it? I thought I saw it. Ah, there. That's not what I want. Maybe I can find, maybe I need to back it up, right? Because I'm not, I'm not married to the horn. If I could find a good sound effect, then I could just make the object that they need whatever matches the sound effect. A bell, even. Yeah, uh, if I wanted to do a bell, I could do a bell. But, um, 
Anyways, yeah, they'll approach here. They'll use the item. The sound effect will ring off. I'll delete the event so they can walk through. Bob's your uncle. Good. All right. I have a structure now. Fantastic. And uh, I think that's where I'll end the episode for today. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next time, stay safe and God bless you.